Hi, my name is Connor Sweeney. I play Marshall Mindy in Don't Look Up. Cool. So we're really excited to talk to you about Don't Look Up, which was the number one movie on Netflix. I heard it's one of the biggest movies in Netflix history. So yeah. Uh, it's already it's been out for a couple weeks it's already reached like iconic status so one thing i wanted to ask you is when you auditioned for this part how much of it uh how much did you know about did you know about there was an a-list cast did you know it was adam mckay how much were you told about it sure um yes i i knew uh about the cast most of the cast and that it was adam mckay I actually auditioned for uh, six different parts in it. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a whole process. I started auditioning in September of 2020, uh, and my last audition was in the middle of November. Um, and I think in between, around audition three or four, was when the full cast was announced, and my mind was <laughs> blown, because it's just obviously a gigantic A-list cast. Um, but yeah, so then I, uh, my last audition was for this role that I booked, um, Leo's son. And yeah, it was obviously the most exciting moment of my life, getting that email being like, you got it. <laughs> That's awesome. So obviously I'm sure there, there comes a lot of pressure and excitement from being with such an A-list cast. You have a lot of your scenes with Leonardo DiCaprio, which is you know, it, like yep. beyond any actor's wildest dream. So what was what was that experience like? Uh, what was Leo like? What, how did you develop a chemistry between the two of you? Because also you play an interesting character because uh, it seems like at the beginning of the movie, Leo's very close with your character and then he gets taken to do all these interviews. So the relationship kind of changes. So, yep. so what was that like? Yeah, so I worked that ending sequence was when we were all together with uh, Leo and Jen and Timothy, Melanie, Rob. Um, and we shot that over the course of three days. Uh, so I had, I shot for four days total. First day was those first couple scenes with Melanie and the actor who plays my brother, Robert Radosha. Um, and those were great. And truly how it, how all of our relationships and chemistry and everything came together was through Adam's direction and lead. And the way he leads a set is um, a very, it's a very carefree, relaxed, no ego environment where you get there and he he's immediately making jokes to make you feel comfortable. And it's a try anything, like there are no stupid ideas, all that jazz. So then when I met, and I met Leo pretty much 10 minutes before we started filming and wow. i remember him being like all right we gotta we gotta build a family right now like <laughs> let's let's play around and see and so it was really like birthed out of improv um and yeah for me i i just took it like because i i had a beard and glasses in it um that i just wanted to be like my dad um just like he was my role model he was the guy and obviously you know, he loses his way during the course of this movie, but when he returns home, the like great return, I think for Marshall, it's just about, I have my dad back and I want to make the most of this moment, this terrifying moment and just all be together. So it was really exciting to sort of just play around, find the connection. And it was really easy. I mean, Leo is such a great guy. He has, you would you would forget that he's the Leonardo DiCaprio the same way like Jen and Timothy all of these actors are so accomplished and amazing but it felt we shot in this like small house in Framingham Massachusetts it felt like a little indie movie honestly with just a bunch of up-and-coming actors all like doing a little movie um and so we would be sitting around the table like holding hands saying grace and it would just feel normal. And then I'd be like, I'm holding Leonardo DiCaprio's <laughs> hand right now. Like, that's crazy. Uh, it's on film. What'd you say? And it's on film. So like, and it's on film. Of it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was just a, a, a dream from start to finish. And Leo and Jen and Timothy, Melanie, all of them, amazing. 
that's so awesome it's interesting that you brought up the the table scene because that's such like a cornerstone of the of the movie it's such a powerful impactful scene um and how you mentioned that it was filmed over the course of three days it's so interesting to watch it because you know there's kind of this contrast between that and what's happening outside of the house there's no music in that scene obviously there's so much weight on that scene because all the the characters know what's coming i don't really want to spoil it in case anyone hasn't seen the movie yet but there's definitely this weight because they they know what's to come so was that was that challenging it seems like the relationship with the cast seemed you know so great that that made it a little easier and obviously with with adam being so so open to to improv and everyone's style and everything but since there's so much weight on that scene uh is there anything that that you remember from that from that day that struck you as kind of interesting whether it's the approach to the scene or struck you about how how your acting style was mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say we all found the tone together. When we started, we obviously had what was scripted and added improv the whole time. But Adam sort of led us in this direction where we were like, should we be doing this because this is happening? Or what should we be doing? And Adam and Leo honestly led us into this zone that we all pretty much got in together at the same time and like the characters agreed that this is what we're doing um yeah and then luckily with the three days we had so much time to try things out and play around and just not feel rushed which was really great and so we were able to really explore these moments of tension with trying to keep everything normal and calm and i would say for me that's what I was trying to do acting wise as well is find this balance between going along with what all of these characters have decided to do in this moment and also the reality of what is happening. Uh, and so that mix I say is what we sort of played with the whole time, which was really great. And it was awesome to see people like Leonardo or Jen uh, be able to crack jokes one second and then when the cameras start rolling really just be in it um, is really inspiring and just having them leading this it was great and I felt taken care of the whole time. Yeah it's really interesting how you were saying that Adam and Leo were kind of like taking lead of the scene because when I'm thinking back to the scene it kind of seems like Leo's character also kind of like lets down the wall of you know we're should we address it should we not and it seems like he's the first one to be like, we're, we just got to, we got to say it. We got to say the first thing to get it out of the way. And it's, it's, it's so interesting. I think that comes across so well on screen. And that also leads to my next question about, was there anything that you learned about your craft or just about making movies in general from working on this movie since you were surrounded by so many, you know, heavy hitters? Yes, definitely. I learned so much every single moment of every single day with them. I think my biggest takeaway is just how to lead a set and be be number one be number two and still feel like it's a team sport and it making everyone feel like they're on even playing fields it goes back to what i was saying about how it felt like a small little indie movie because there were no egos everyone was in it together everyone treated each other like peers and so that was one of my biggest takeaways is how to how to act on a film set when you're this big gigantic celebrity uh in leading with no ego any of that and then i would say i so i got to sit across from jen and timothy and watching them like when the cameras would be right here next to my head mm -hmm. and just on them it was awesome to see them work and just see them explore and take their time and I, i've seen the movie so many times now um and i i really love watching jen work and i love her use of breath it's really awesome to see how she grounds herself with breath and one of the lines in the end i guess i i won't spoil it but um that she says i remember feeling that sitting there and seeing how she got there so really I was just studying and being a student the whole time while also being a peer of all these people.
Yeah, that's cool. It's like you got to also watch the film for the first time as they were doing it. It hits you as a viewer as it's also hitting you as an actor, which is pretty yes. cool. Yes, definitely. So since this is such an interesting concept and idea, uh, it's kind of, a, I don't know if this is so much a, a loaded question, but the movie with people that have seen it, it's been taken so many different ways and so many people have different opinions of what it's about. Is it serious? Is it a satire? Is it about this? Is it about that? So what does the movie mean to you really or what do you take away from it and has your opinion of what the movie's about changed from the first time you read the script to now sure uh yeah i would say what i learned as i was shooting and hearing adam talk about the whole project hearing leo and jen because we shot towards the end so they had done most of it i knew going in that it was an allegory for climate change i knew that was sort of the main focus in my head and then I discovered while working on it and then since and seeing it and seeing reactions that it's also really about how we communicate with each other and how our social media age has really harmed that communication and how it gets so messed up and cyclone and the information can't get through that needs to get through. And so, yeah, for me, the beating heart of the film is how we talk to each other and this desire to reach out and shake someone and be like please listen to me and to feel heard and i think that is one of the strongest things that has developed and then seeing all of these reactions it just compounds that feeling of communication and just people being at odds with each other and not listening yeah it's interesting to see what the m movie was working with and chewing on happening in reaction to the movie on social media. Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting parallel. Yeah, that was definitely, that's what I was thinking too after I watched the movie on um, on New Year's Eve. So it was so interesting oh, nice. to see all the, you know, all the things that were coming into social media just on New Year's Eve alone. And then there was all of this about the movie and then hearing things about the movie before I actually saw it and then seeing it and taking it sure. in a certain way. It's so cool the way that, that it's able to do that. It means so many different things on so many levels that it's it's just it's fun it's an experience even when you're when you're not watching it when you're just kind of chewing on it and everything yes i think it's great um the goal of art in my opinion and movie making is to have strong reactions and have people talking about these messages and the movie so it's really cool because people have a lot of strong reactions to this movie and that's so exciting because it means the messages are getting through, moments are landing, people are either pushed away from it or engrossed in it, and either way, they're engaging with it. And that's all you can really ask for, which is amazing. So cool. So this is another, hopefully it's not too much of a loaded question, but if you were in that experience that they've been through in the movie, uh -huh. if you had a feeling you only had 90, 60, 30 days left of yeah. your life, uh, do you have any ideas of what you would do? My first instinct is to travel. I would want to travel everywhere, but it feels like the world would be in complete chaos. So I don't know if like planes would be flying anywhere. Um, I, I do maybe, think- Maybe if you had 90 days left, maybe the world okay. will be kind of normal then. Maybe perfect, when it gets perfect. to like 30, not so much. Maybe sure, okay, happen. so then the first 60 days I'll travel. Um, <laughs> and then the last 30 days, just spend it with my family. Um, I think- yeah, the ending of this movie, every time I watch it, my heart starts racing. I get teary eyed just because I, I see them all reaching for each other and supporting each other and being with each other. And that to me is everything. So it's just spending time with my family and making the most out of it. Yeah. And just trying not to panic and waste these last 90 days and make the most of this beautiful earth and the people I love within it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I also wanted to ask you past this movie, I feel like the whole cast is going to have like a, a crazy, really busy uh, beginning of this year with award season sure. and everything. But what else are you working on? Uh, is there a certain type of project you'd like to do? What's ahead for you? 
Yeah, um, really just audition season. I mean, this was my first movie, which is wow. insane. Yeah, uh, what a yeah. way to start. <laughs> I know, I know. I remember talking to Timothy in between takes and he was like, I, I assume like you guys have done a lot, right? And I was like, this is my first thing. I've obviously I trained and did short films and all that, but this was my first professional gig. So yeah, so this I've, I've now done an episode of uh, Law and Order SVU as well. Um, so just channeling in, into this first uh, audition season that I've had with a new agent with these credits and just hopefully auditioning constantly for great roles. I mean, I would love to continue in this uh, path with Adam McKay and the work he does and how it combines politics and comedy and like satire and drama, all of it together, just making art that gets people talking whether that whether that be on a grand scale like a gigantic netflix movie or little indies or an episode of a tv show i'm really just trying to continue in this zone of making art that matters hopefully i don't know if i i can say that like my well, art will matter but on people yes no yeah. matter what so yes that's the goal cool and adam mckay is a, a great place to start because he has got such a range of He's got comedies and dramas and he's done shorts and he's done feature length films. And he also uses a lot of, uh, he works with a lot of the same cast members multiple times. So maybe his next one. That would be great, <laughs> Adam, I'm available. <laughs> awesome, so thanks so much for taking the time to, to talk with us. It's been great Thank talking you, to you. And it's, you know, congratulations on all the success you've had with this amazing movie. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's been a dream from start to finish. So thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining great. us. You as well. Hope hope to speak to you again on another project. Yes. Hopefully too. Yeah. yeah. Take Thanks care. So Bye. Thank you. Take care.